I'm so excited. This is a bucket list item for me. This is the quandary we keep finding ourselves in. We are definitely outdoors people. And while the cities are really fun to visit, places like this, this is what we really want to explore. So we are staying at this really great campsite and we don't have any time to explore it because we have all these things planned that we want to go see in San Francisco. This ain't no Biked all of that. Yeah, we biked right up here. We just didn't come up quite this far. I remember seeing the Roundhouse Cafe. Mm -hmm. We finally made it to the visitor center so we could get our stamp and our passport book. What we're looking at here is a really interesting concept between the tension of the cables and the height of the towers. The shorter that the towers are, the more tension is required on the cables in order to help support the bridge. No trip to San Francisco would be complete without driving around the crazy streets. We had to go check out Lombard Street, which is the crookedest road on earth, as they say. told to come check out when we come to San Francisco is ramen noodles and I have never had real ramen noodles and neither have the boys so it was quite an experience <laughs> uh, but it was very yummy we just got a little bit so we could share it and try it and now we're off to try something else what do you think was it good ramen yeah ramen's good what do you think Chloe it's always pizza. Is it good? What do you think, Chloe? Oh my god. You will travel to many places. <laughs> we have been searching and searching for a tree house. And then one day, we found one. to come check out the kids base their tree house as they say because I was imagining something else this is gorgeous the thing I wanted to say was make sure you get out in nature it makes me feel peaceful just looking out into the woods watch, watching people go on the trails looking at all the green and all the tall trees well I have not seen this much green in a while because we've been in the desert and Reno. The smell, oh, I hear turkey. <laughs> a lot of birds. I like that sound. You guys ready to go see the redwoods today?
nature makes our kids like each other. <laughs> that this morning they're all like lovey-dovey and helping each other and doing things for each other and hugging each other. What is this? It's been a while since we've been out and about. Yeah, we need to get in nature more. California, you have to try in and out I've never had it in out before. Guys, what do you think of in and out Good. Mommy was underwhelmed. <laughs> to head into the John Muir National Monument. Three major coastal redwood groves. Um, I'm so excited. This is a bucket list item for me. So yeah, the kids are already heading out and they're working on their junior ranger programs, but uh, let's head in. It's produced from a seed that's actually only about the size of a tomato seed. The actual cone that they're in is about the size of an olive. Then you have these behemoths over here. These things are produced called family circles. These little knobs, if I can get the camera to focus, along the tree and over here on the bottom are called burls. So when the straight tree is stressed by fire or wind or damage of some sorts, it shoots up those burls that actually contain sprouts in them and it will duplicate well, it looks like one on the bottom, it actually splits into multiple ones as it goes higher. Let me see, buddy. Oh, cool. kids found somebody. Redwood trees can grow about 100 feet tall, but the roots only grow about 15 feet. Despite the fact that these trees are super tall, the interesting thing is, is they keep this tree steady by the fact that they grow out 100 or more feet wide. So it's like one giant net just underneath the soil, about 10 feet. Hey Aaron, what makes it red? Why do they call it redwood? Tannin, because tannin is a special, special mechanical. It makes the bark red and also protects it from fire. I'm barely, just barely capture the size of yeah. these things. It's super They're difficult. Massive. Like I can't get them in, a, in an Instagram shot. Yep. You can make um, a reservation either for the parking lot, which puts you really close to the visitor center, or you can do uh, a shuttle. There is a really awesome junior ranger program here that the kids all did as well. And one other little tip, if you reserve a spot at the parking that's located here at Muir Woods, one thing you can do is stay a little later until after the park closes. Ranger said as much. She said, eh, okay. nobody's gonna check and see if you're still in there. And the park, there's no gates on the parking lot. But at six, you wanna maybe head towards the parking lot. We just headed toward the parking lot in a roundabout way. Oh wait, Cinder stays. Cinder stays. I'm just kidding, April Fools. Come on, let's go. 
What day is it? Beach day! For some reason, it seems like every time we plan a beach day, it's cloudy! So once again, it is a cloudy, cold swim day. But our kids don't seem to care. <laughs> They're having a blast. Just rain on me. You blow me into space. What's the matter, Aaron? Are you cold? Stop. <laughs> he's not cold. He's shivering, but he's not cold. Blow me into space. Chimney Rock Trail, and it's about a 1.8 mile loop, I believe. Oh, yeah. Between the posters about the great white shark so population here and the unstable bluffs and the fissures, I'm a little on edge. So and my boys, they want to be on the edge. <laughs> It's really hard to see, but that's a whale. This is the third national seashore that we have visited, Assateague Island and Fire Island we saw on the east coast. This is the first one on the west coast. Well, when we planned on our San Francisco trip, we planned two days in the city and three days in nature. After the city experience, we needed this. <laughs> of all the paths you take in life, make sure a few of them are dirt. Thanks for tuning in this week. If you missed San Francisco part one, make sure you click here. Don't forget to subscribe for new videos every week. Over the rivers, over open seas, bring me to this feeling.